Um, what up, Blockchain Nation? What up, YouTube? Thank you so much for taking the time to uh, watch this video. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so you can get weekly notifications whenever I release videos. All right, so I've talked about Libra a couple of times. I've done a few videos on this, but this is definitely one worth, worth, worth watching. The reason why I say so is because a lot has changed with the Libra project. Um, as you know, the name has even changed. But before I go into all that, the genesis of what uh, made me decide to do this video is if you look at a previous video that I did some, sometime last year where I was giving an update about Libra and where the foundation was, where the project was, but a couple of people made some comments that really piqued my interest. Uh, somebody here is asking me what happened to BitcoinCell.org. Uh, someone asked, why can't we access our accounts in LibraGlobalCoin.io? So I think Abdullah uh, believed that this was an actual portal or website that belonged to the Libra Foundation. Uh, and also my very, um, well, I was going to say my very good friend, but I like Andy. Andy, if you're watching, thank you so much for taking the time uh, to comment and to watch these videos. But a dialogue between myself and Andy where he asked about Libra FB coin. I wanted to know whether it was a legitimate site. And as you can see now, Libra FB coin has disappeared. Libra Global coin has disappeared. Bitcoin sell.org has disappeared. In other words, all these sites were just scams. So because Facebook has had a lot of um, issues with getting Libra approved in the United States and getting acceptance around the world. I forget which country, but they have some countries in developing in emerging markets that uh, have decided to go ahead with the Libra project. But in the United States, as of the time of recording this video and other parts of the world, uh, not having it approved, go, giving Facebook a go ahead to start the Libra project. So while that was happening, unfortunately, all these scam artists came out and I'm sure there were so many of them because now Libra is no longer called Libra, it's called the DM project as you can see. But I don't know if it will change by the time you're watching this, if you play on this video. So this is a video about the DM project, but as you can see in this video, it, the video still says Libra, which in my opinion is a bit tacky. But anyways, take the time and watch this. Uh, but my point is, as you can see, it's now rebranded to, uh, it's now called the DM project but they still in some of their branding are still keeping the name Libra, which I think is just an oversight. And so if you go to, yeah, here we go. So if you go to Facebook's page or the DM Association, the Libra Association page, it says the DM Association, but the video still says Libra, which can be confusing. This channel has no videos. Uh, I have no idea why that is. So this is just weird. Hold on a sec. Libra. Yeah, Libra.org will redirect you to DM position. For a second, I actually thought this was also a scam page. It's hard to tell now because, I mean, these guys, unfortunately, have had a lot of delays. And these, so many scam artists have just come out out of the woodwork. But I do know they are called the DM Association. Now, let's look at this. Novi is a wallet that was also built by Facebook that you can use to trade or that you can use to store your DM, no longer Libra, your DM. So as you can see, even at Novi, Novi has also done some updates and I've mentioned that Novi from Facebook, how it works, simply wait, simple way to send money. So you can send DM, original Libra, on your phone, across WhatsApp, across Facebook Messenger, and obviously across most of Facebook's platforms. But uh, yeah, we go about DM. DM is a new global payment system. So they have dropped the name Libra for so many reasons. They've dragged it for so long with Congress, haven't been able to get approval. And so a lot of scams have appeared. As you can see, all these pages have just disappeared off the face of the earth. So if you're new to this and you just heard about the Libra Foundation, the Libra Project, please, it's no longer called the Libra Project. It's now called the DM Project. So pretty much most of it still remains the same. It works the same. It is arguably a blockchain. People can say, well, arguably, using that, I use that word, because it seems to have some features of a blockchain, which means it's scalable, it's supposed to be secure, it's fast, it's stable, but it's still very centralized. Now, like normal blockchains that run nodes, the Libra Foundation has uh, members. Let's look at, uh, where is that? 
is it here? Libra Association. Um, scalable secure. I'm looking for the members of Real. These are the executive, uh, the executives, the executive team of the association. But they are members of the Libra Foundation, which is uh, for some reason I have no idea where that is. You have to pardon me while I try to figure that out. But we have companies like, oh, either they have removed that from the portal. Photo directions, technical members. Yeah, here we go, members. This should be it. There we go, yeah, we still have this. We have Anchorage and Richard Horowitz, Blockchain Capital, Coinbase, Novi from Facebook, which was, uh, well, it really is Facebook, and a couple of other companies. Some have dropped out. I know we had Visa, MasterCard, I believe, at one time. So a lot is going on with this project, and it's really, really, really hard to, uh, to know exactly what direction this project will go. I think ultimately they might eventually get approval by Congress, but along the way, too many copycats. So beware of these copycats, please, please, please. Don't get fooled into some foolish scam. Somebody telling you to come and buy Libra coins or DM coins, because I promise I will do a video eventually when Facebook uh, gets approved by Congress. But please don't fall for these scams. So it's no longer called Libra, it's now called DM. This is just a quick one, just to bring you up to date with what's going on. I'll put a, I'll put a link below to a video I did about um, this project when it was called Libra, so that you can review that and see how it works. But pretty much it's all the same thing. You can transfer, you can send DM by your cell phone on Messenger, on, uh, on WhatsApp. Uh, it, I think emerging markets, in my opinion, are going to be the first uh, adopters of this platform because in the US, Facebook is getting grilled, seriously. Things I want to highlight in this video is that the project still hasn't been approved by Congress at the time I'm recording this video. So be very, very careful when you see a project out there, somebody who claims that this is, you can get DM coins or you can get Libra coins, sign up here. Please be very, very careful. One thing I always say, whenever you look at a website or whenever you look at a URL that claims to be part of Libra or whatever, always, and I've done a video about um, looking out for Ponzi schemes in related to cryptocurrency, and the same thing still applies. Always look and wonder, are there, is there a face behind this project? So as you can see on the DM uh, portal, on the DM website, you can actually see the members of the DM association, like Stuart Levy, uh, the last David Marcus was originally the CEO of the project, but you can see the faces behind uh, David Marcus of the project. So whenever you see somebody that claims to be, or something that claims to be a Libra project or, or the DM project, or just generally a crypto project, please be very, very careful. Like I said, the same rules apply. Uh, like I mentioned in a video that I did, I'll put a link below, about how you need to look out for Ponzi schemes in the crypto space. Be very, very careful. Always look out for a face or a name or somebody reputable or somebody, because like most, for the most part, all these scams out there, they never actually have a, uh, an email address that you can send that, uh, that's actually functional. So sometimes when I see all these scams and somebody claims to be a new crypto project, a new ICO, or claims to be like the DM or the Libra project, uh, there will always be a contact email address. And nine times out of 10, in fact, every single time when I send an email, it bounces back because it's not a legitimate email address. So there are little things that you can look out for to know that it's a scam. So uh, it, I'll try as much as possible because this is a project I've been tracking for a very long time. I also want to see where it goes. I think the same, whatever happens, um, I won't say that this is what's driving Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, it's, but it, um, it's, has some interesting aspects about it to see if it will work. Maybe that's just me. I think I'm just curious to see if this will work. I'm not, I know people will argue and say Facebook is a, a centralized institution that's still a lot of information. I'm not going to go into the argument. I'm not for or against it. I just want to see what happens with it. It's an interesting concept to see something that's supposed to be a crypto project and to see if it can actually go mainstream. Well, I think uh, what this has done in the past when David Marcus back in 2000 and I believe 19 was appeared before Congress, it just created a lot of buzz for Bitcoin. So all this, whatever crypto is mentioned at the end of the day, it kind of helps drive adoption or interest 
in Bitcoin, which is why I'm interested in this project. So please be out there, please be safe, or please be uh, cautious, and please take time to do your due diligence. There's too many scams out there, so please try not to get scammed. Okay. Well, that's it. Well, until next time, I wish for you to learn more about cryptocurrencies because crypto is changing and will change the world. And uh, those who get involved early, in my personal opinion, will greatly impact the future. And if that's you, let's go change the world. Thank you.